This is a brand new PC that I just purchased, nothing installed except for Google Chrome. First of all, I'm going to go and download my MT4 terminal from IG. And the link is halfway down the page right here. When you start installing it, make sure you don't hit next straight away. Go straight to the settings because I intend to install a lot of MT4 terminals. So I'm going to call this one IG MT4 01. Next. The main reason I choose IG for my demo testing because it's really easy to set up unlimited demo accounts. New demo account. You get your username and password natively in MT4. You don't have to go off to a browser, open an account with a specific broker. This one is fantastic for demo testing. Once you hit finish, you will notice on the bottom right of your screen, the box here turns half red and half green, which means you are connected. And you can close all these charts because we don't need it. And next thing I do for all my MT4 terminals is ensure that it uses the least memory. So first of all, hide all the symbols on the left. The more symbols you have, the more memory it takes up. So sometimes it doesn't work. It doesn't hide all the symbols. Try again. And there you go. Next, go into tools and options. For server, we don't want to show the news. For charts, we want to keep the minimum number of charts. So I'm just going to go with 5,000. And for events, I'm going to disable events. And OK. The next thing I like to do is make sure my initial charts is clean. So if I go to Euro USD, and right now it's the weekend, so that's why this is grayed out. And I don't like the initial grid, so I hit Control G to turn off, or you can go to right click properties and in the common disable show grid. And to keep this as my default, I go to template, save template, and call this default. Now, every time I open a brand new chart, that grid is gone, so this is much cleaner interface. That's all that's needed to set up your first IG terminal or any broker. I'm going to close this. Now to set up the second MT4 terminal, go to File Explorer, uh, P this PC, C, Program Files 86. And you can see my first MT4 terminal is there. I'm just going to Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And I'm going to rename this to um, MT4 number 2. To execute and open MT4 number two, you go to the terminal application. And I'm going to follow the exact same process to open a brand new demo account on this second MT4 terminal as well. And close our second MT4 terminal. So right now you can see in my program files, I've got one and two MT4 terminals. I've successfully created three MT4 terminals. I'm going to go in and open each one, number one. Number two, number three. And you may want to resize them so it's a little bit neater on your desktop. The only difference between MT4 and MT5 is the location. So if we go to C, Program Files 86, this is where you'll find your MT4 terminals. And under Program Files without the 86, this is where you'll find your MT5 files. Now that our MT4 terminals have been created, the next step is to set up monitoring to make sure all our MT4 terminals and all our robots are running all the time. And I talk about that in this video right here.